now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thomas Bush has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Mustangs know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you convince them you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Play action. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. around the 43-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. It's second down. On play action. Runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Fights forward to about the 43. From the 43 yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Ruiz awaits the snap. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Fires quick. Tipped. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up third and long. Roger, Roger. Mike 19, Mike 19. Let's go deep. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Wiggins to punt. Oh, 
Thomas fields it the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He makes his way to about the 48. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets the job done and picks up the first down. Leonard again. Tackle made right around the 48 yard line. From the 48 yard line, second down. Scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's tackled at the 34. He's on the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets it. He's in space. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. First down. Defense trying to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. And they're in. Touchdown. the PAT. A seven-play, 61-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7-0. Maxwell takes it from the six. He's tackled the 33-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Played one quarter. The Mustangs lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Got an opening. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. Hudson was intended to see the other way. That makes it second and ten. Roger, Roger. Mike 19, Mike 19. 
caught. Enough for the first down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 27. First down. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. He goes out of bounds at the 20. That'll bring up second and three. Strike to his receiver, no good. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He gets hit out of bounds around the 18 yard line. Bring him down at the 16. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The 10. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the one. That's a, game of seven. a touchdown away from a tie. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's tackled at the 32. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. Yard line. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Broadway taken down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the way.
And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. From the 33 yard line, first down. Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle around the 22-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They hand it off. Gets to about the five-yard line. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Taken down by the kicker. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he throws right away. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 18. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Going right to his tailback. He's hit and taken down. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Second and six. Ball on the 15. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle made around the nine-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Bush is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Brought down at the 15. You don't want that? You don't want that? You 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 14-10, Mustang. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Haley takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 30. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws out and through his hands. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Steps up in the pocket. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 49-yard line, first down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Him hard at the 33. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. down and he's going to get sacked. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Some steam on that throw. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. quickly to the tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. 
with the technical at the 32 yard line. Fourth down. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Gets out to around the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Six-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go. Five fifty. Five fifty. Got some open field. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Six yard line. It's second down. I got 40, I got 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there. Leonard comes away with five yards on the carry. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's going to try and scramble. Big play, and it's first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. the PAT. Ramirez has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Yeah. 
He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Kirk, I got to give these guys credit. They could have mailed it in after the way they played in the first half. Yeah, it was ugly in the first half, but give them a lot of credit for continuing to work hard. They've found their rhythm, and they've scored now in their last couple series. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 27. So at the end of the third quarter, the Mustangs lead 21-13. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 32. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Thomas will be the return man. Thomas fields at the 30, tackle at the 37. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He steps out the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. out to the tight end but it's incomplete so they run the same pass play again yeah typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player they feel confident about a play's chances caught over the middle and he's taken down at about the 41 Ruiz awaits the snap. He makes it to the 32-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes a catch and has a first down. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. He's on the run, and he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better.
Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. receiver and down he goes around the 23 yard line from the 23 yard line first down he scrambled tackle at about the 21 And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's immediately tackled. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. All right, guys, crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. conversion so just like that they've made up eight points and that sideline is simply ecstatic right now the clock is certainly a big factor right now the key for the defense will be to just keep that clock running get this game to overtime they line up to kick this one away excellent kick and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. He's going right. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. their own 48-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. tries to buy some time. Drop down right around the 26-yard line. The Mustangs will use their first time out of the half. 
Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. The kick is up. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Aaron and out long. Great concentration to haul it in. They win the game with one of the most clutch runs I've ever seen. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. This one's in the books, and our final score, the Chargers, 28, the Mustangs, 24. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.